Walt Disney Animation Studio presents the musical The Princess and the Frog, an animated comedy set in the great city of New Orleans from creators of The Little Mermaid and Aladdin comes a modern twist on a classic tale featuring a beautiful girl named Tiana, a frog prince who desperately wants to be human again, and a faithful kiss that leads them both on a hilarious adventure through the mystical bayous of Louisiana. The Princess and the Frog marks the return to hand-drawn animation from the revered team of John Musker and Ron Clements, with music by Oscar-winning composer Randy Newman. And what do we have to say about this movie? It's no surprise to us that Time Magazine names it the movie of the year. It seems like after Brother Bear, Disney lost its classic touch, but this story really has charm. Each character is wonderfully drawn, and the voice acting is perfect. Each character has wit, charm, they're funny, and they have great character development. Something Disney has lost in their more recent features, such as Chicken Little and Meet the Robinsons and Bolt. Although good movies, they are not Disney classics. It's nice seeing that the Disney company realized that hand animation is the way to go. The whole movie is a beautiful painting, and there's so many great things to say about these characters, but I don't want to drag on too long. Luis and Ronnie remind me a little bit of Timon and Puma too. They kind of steal the show in the movie, and you'll see why. One of the highest points for me was the villain, Dr. Facilier, or the Shadow Man, such a unique and scary character. He fits in great with the Disney cast of villains. Right next to Scar, Ursula, Jafar. He actually did remind me a lot of Jafar. And also Oogie Boogie Man from The Nightmare Before Christmas. So how are we going to crisscross this movie? Well, we give it five lily pads out of five lily pads. So Disney's The Princess and the Frog is in theaters now. Catch it, and you won't be disappointed. I'm Chris Pablu. And I'm Christian. And you've just been crisscrossed. Tune in next Friday for our review on James Cameron's Avatar.